Welcome to Shuffle Like a Pro, tutorial 3 in this series. The Riffle Shuffle in Air. We break this down into three phases in order to master this technique of shuffling a deck of cards, step by step. Are you ready? Then let's roll. Phase 1. Splitting the pack. Hold the deck in your right hand, with the second, third and fourth fingers gripping its lower end. The index is curled to the inside resting against the back side of the deck and the thumb lies in about a 25 degrees angle to the parallel of the upper edge of the pack. The fingers at the lower end must be enabled to grip tightly so that the pack can be held, clipped between the fingertips of the second, third and fourth fingers and the knuckle of the index without any other support. Get into this position by holding the deck in left hand dealer's grip. Then slide with your right thumb alongside the inner edge of the deck. Swing your wrist over the pack and grip its outer edge with the second, third and fourth fingers. Curl your index to the inside and lift up the whole deck like so. Once in position, the left hand approaches the deck at about one third from the upper edge. The right thumb then riffles off about half of the cards. Now the right hand swings upwards, bringing the lower pack horizontal by keeping the upper pack in position. The right hand keeps on pushing the lower pack into a vertical position where the left thumb takes over at the front corner of the upper edge of the pack. For a split second now, the pack is held only between thumb and index of the left hand for the other fingers to grip the pack at its lower end. Immediately the index curls inside. Approach one third from top, riffle off, swing horizontal, swing vertical, take over with left thumb, hold between index and thumb, grip with fingers and curl index, riffle off, swing round, take over, grip, riffle, swing, grip. Proceed correctly and you end up in pole position for phase two. Both hands holding the same grip. Phase two, shuffling the cards. Turn both hands palm downwards, the two packs relatively close together, forming a triangle in front of you. Now, with support of your forefingers, slightly bend the outer corners of the packs with your thumbs. Then allow cards to slip from each thumb alternately, interlacing the edges, overlapping by about one centimeter. The action of riffling the cards is a delicate matter. The tip of the thumb rolls off over the edge of the pack, releasing cards one by one. Practice first with two hands, then single-handed, first vertical, then horizontal, until both hands work well simultaneously. So form a triangle. Slightly bend the outer corners, then riffle down by rolling off with the thumbs over the edges of the packs. So triangle, bend corners and riffle down. Proceed correctly and you end up in pole position for phase 3. The cards overlapping at the outer ends and the pack held secure, clipped between the second, third and fourth fingers and the knuckles of the forefingers. Phase 3. The waterfall flourish. Position your thumbs on the overlapping edges of the cards. Stretch your fingers. Then bend the cards inwards by holding pressure with the thumbs on top of the curve the cards are forming. Loosen the grip of both hands and slowly release pressure simultaneously towards both left and right side. Automatically the cards start falling into place. With the thumbs in the right position, they only apply as much pressure as needed to hold the packs together. With the forefinger stretched, the bending motion should cause no trouble, though it might feel pretty rough at first. The whole procedure calls for a sensitive balance of the right amount of pressure to its time, which your hands will achieve with practice. So, position your thumbs on the overlapping part of the cards and use them to hold everything together. Get your index fingers out of the way, bend the cards to form a curve, open second, third and fourth fingers of both hands and let the cards fall onto them by releasing pressure towards the right and left side. Finally, you end up in this position. Simply push the cards together, take them in your right hand like so, 
transfer them into a left-hand mechanic's grip and square them up. That's it. You're ready for another round? Then let's practice. Practice seated at a table in the beginning, because you might drop some cards now and then. At first, get the right grip for both hands at your fingertips. Without the proper grip, you will never get to satisfying results. Once you got to the heart of it, it helps to use the tabletop when riffling the cuts together, interlacing only their outer corners with their inner corners falling onto the table. Don't get frustrated if things don't work so well as soon as you try this in free air. This shuffle might be popular. It's nonetheless a difficult task. Take your time to build up the necessary strength and control to riffle cards one by one, very slowly. Before you know it, you will pull off a fair riffle shuffle in air. By that time, mastering the waterfall flourish should be no big deal. Though you might waste one or another deck over bending the cards. But you ain't practicing with the collector's rarity deck anyway, right? When all three phases blend together into one smooth sequence and you are able to perform this a couple of times in a row within control over the cards all the time, you master the riffle shuffle in air. Congratulations! So there you have it. Four rocking ways to shuffle like a pro. Number one, the overhand shuffle. Check. Number two, the Hindu shuffle. Check. Number three, the riffle shuffle in air. Check. Subscribe not to miss upcoming tutorials. Next in the series, the Pharaoh Shuffle. Brought to you by Ob Mario's Magic. Stay tuned and be sure, more magical stuff is going to be uploaded very soon.